The Archaeological Method by Mr. Amster. Before you begin, please make sure that you have a sharpened pencil or pen and a highlighter. What is the archaeological method? It is a list of five steps that modern archaeologists follow to ensure that their dig will be successful. The five steps are background research, the excavation process, analysis of finding, publication, and preservation. Please highlight five steps and the five steps themselves. Background research, excavation process, analysis of findings, publication, and preservation. On the right hand side, please write in the following. If you follow these steps, your dig will be successful. If you follow these steps, your dig will be successful. Skip a line. If you miss a step, you will fail. You need all of these steps to be successful, guys. Please take a moment and finish writing those in. Step 1. Background research. Background research requires the archaeologist to find out as much information about the topic before any digging ever even takes place. Why is this step so important? First, because we're going to be minimalists on our highlighting, highlight only as much information and before any digging. Now, why is this step so important? Number one, and this should go again on the right side, you need to know where to look, what you're looking for, and what do you need for this dig? What materials, what clothes, what is the environment going to be like? These three questions are essential to background research where to look, what are you looking for, and what do you need to bring. Step 2, the excavation process. In this step, the actual digging takes place. A permit is required and the site must be carefully surveyed to make sure it is safe to dig. Please highlight permit is required and safe to dig. Equipment must be brought in as well as a group of workers each who each have a clearly defined role. Please highlight clearly defined role. On the right side, it can't be repeated enough. Safety is key. If you're not safe, people can get hurt. Or even worse, well, just as badly, artifacts and fossils can be ruined and history could be lost forever. Skip a line. If people know what their job is, then the process can be more effective and efficient. Think about it if you're going into a soccer game. Your first question is, what position am I going in for? And who am I covering? Lastly, skip a line. The excavation is done on a grid plan. If you notice here, the archaeologist has set up a grid from which he can dig and he's using a small little brush so he doesn't disturb the artifacts. Think of this grid pan like battleship. I found that ring in B2. 
draw a grid plan below this, this slide. And make sure to dig slowly and carefully. Step 3. Analysis of finding. For every hour the archaeologist spends during the excavation, he or she spends an average of 10 hours in the lab analyzing their findings. In this step, the, ar the uncovered artifacts and fossils are carefully taken back to the lab for examination. Please highlight every hour during excavation average of 10 hours in the lab. And also carefully taken back to lab. Carefully taken back to lab. Now, there are four questions that must come up when you're analyzing something. Number one, what is it? What are you holding? What are you looking at? Number two, how old is it? This question is important because it can not only tell us how old the civilization is or was, but if it's not from their tribe, maybe how old another civilization is. Three, what is the purpose? Why was it built? Four, and this is a very interesting question. Did they make it or trade for it? This is important because if we know when they made it or that they made it, we know what materials they have access to or what they needed if they traded for it. Remember the purple dye from Phoenicia and their cedar wood, their only two resources, and that they were able to create a powerful empire. Step four, publication. When the archaeologist has completed his or her analysis, they must document their findings. They must share their analysis by, publici by publicizing their findings. Please highlight publicizing their findings. On the right side, please write in. The reason why this is important is you should contribute or share your findings with the world. And two, it creates a written record, a primary source of all that was found. And also another thing, it gives you credit for what you found. You know you want credit for all the hard work you put in. Step 5. Preservation. It is essential after that after the archaeologist has completed steps 1 through 4 successfully, he or she must then preserve the artifacts and fossils they discovered. Please highlight carefully preserve artifacts and fossils. On the right, you want to save it. You want to save it so you can look at it later. And two, it's important because better technology may come about later that can solve questions that you can't answer right now. And three, Maybe somebody makes another discovery down the road and you want to go back and look at that artifact or fossil again. If it's preserved, you can. The end. If you have any questions, please make sure to see Mr. Amster.